Well, I think it's fair to say I got a lot done this last week. Let me give you guys a little bit of a closer look on everything that I completed the last week because I know there's a lot of details that you guys may have missed in that whole time lapse. But let's start things off with the howling wolves right here in front of the doorway. I also have a couple up there on the bridge as well. I thought these things turned out absolutely fantastic. And I wanted to kind of create a little bit of a fog effect coming out of their mouths as they howl. All this obviously haven't touched yet. And then looking back at the door here, made out of different types of tough, kind of nestled into that whole wall there, I think turned out absolutely gorgeous. And you guys can see the other wolves up on the bridge, kind of leaning in towards the center point of the bridge to kind of accentuate those lines a little bit. And as you guys can see, I did all the detailing and all the texturing of the bridge all the way through. But what isn't detailed or textured is, well, the wall behind me. Yes, I need to put in a little bit of a doorway here. Obviously, windows. There's a lot to be done still. I've only been at this castle for about 11 days now, give or take. And there's a lot more time to actually be able to put together a little bit more of the finer details as we go ahead. But was able to get the middle part of the bridge kind of fully textured and built up. And I also created a little bit of a powdered snow farm that has yet to work i haven't seen any snow in any one of these cauldrons but i decided to basically swap out these blocks back here because not only do they work really really well with the shadowing back there but made herself a cheeky powdered snow farm while we're at it but now that i have most of the castle up and at it that means we can start adding a little bit more of our detail work now I'm working on this tower over here a little bit more and i'll be working on that big giant tower back there as i work my way around the entire castle because yes i will do the backside don't worry but there is one big thing that we are missing and that is our wolves so let's go back to our base and let's go grab ourselves some wolves and add it to our castle here so when 1.21 first came out i went out to gather up every single wolf in the game but there is only one wolf that i do only have one of and it is of course this guy right here i think it's a snowy wolf i have no idea but i gotta breed him up with the wolves that i got down here and hope for the best because in each one of the corridors of the storage room i do have every single wolf in the game so we'll be moving all these guys over to our castle now but first here's hoping that i'll actually get ourselves another white wolf and we didn't dang it that means I'm going to be stuck here for a little bit longer trying to get another one of these guys. But we do have ourselves a new puppers. So this guy's probably my favorite wolf right here. I love these guys. They remind me of wild dogs. And also for those of you guys who are probably wondering why my wolves also have some little bit of a better animations and actually wag their tails and lie down and stuff like that. That's fresh animations. Check it out here. Oh my God. Dude, look at the head to body ratio on these guys. These are absolutely adorable. I flip and love them. I love them so much. If you guys want to keep these guys as baby mobs, basically forever, I have a mod for that. Check it out here. But enough about all the mods that I basically go over and stuff like that. I got to move all these guys over to the castle now. I'm going to let these guys fully grow up. That way I'm able to breed them up at the actual wolf castle and it's times like this and i'm very thankful that i put in the time and effort into building up my nether hub because that means i can pretty much move around these mobs safely throughout the nether this portal over here was a little bit more trouble to get the dogs through but we did manage to get them all the way through the portal i will build that up i promise i will do that sooner than later but for the meantime, time to move these guys all the way across the ocean now. And would you just look at that view from all the way over here, the Pirate Island? I think this is an absolutely gorgeous view. And I think a lighthouse right here would just be absolutely beautiful. And we now officially have every single wolf in the game over here at the castle where they're going to be living the rest of their lives, except for the snow one. So I'll have to go grab that guy real quick, but that one should be pretty simple to do. But look at all of them if you guys have any really cute names that you guys would like to name any of these wolves you guys know what to do name them in the comment section down below and let me know what your favorite wolf is also i have to mention that the amount of scoot that armadillos give off is absolutely insane 
I think that this would most certainly be enough armor that we pretty much need. But I don't even have that many armadillos in here. And they're popping off. And that should be the very last dog right there. Now, time to get back over to the castle so I can start getting these last two towers done. And then we can get to the really fun part, which will be detailing the docks when I got some really cool ideas to show you guys for that. But let me finish these towers first. And now with phase one out the way, it's time for phase two. But before we get into phase two, can we just take our attention over here towards the bridge? Do those not look like two pieces of bread? Huh? I literally can't unsee the bread now. But anyways, what is phase two? Well, now that we have the foundation of the castle all ready to be decorated, it's about time that we start adding and incorporating a little bit more detail. But more importantly, behind this door right here, well... Taking a look back here. Yeah. We don't have a kingdom back there. So as we're digging out the Dwarven Kingdom, I'm going to be decorating the pier over here. I would like this place to be a little bit more populated with armor stands, moving around crates, moving around loot, moving around gold. And of course, we have to do something with the wolves here, find them an actual home. But I do want to make this place look like an actual dock area. And up above here, I did do a little bit of shading and shadowing around the castle just to kind of work in a little bit of, of the castle itself. I've got some areas that I would like to build some trees and bring in a little bit more detail while we dig out our whole Dwarven Kingdom. So, for those of you guys wondering how I get all the resources for these projects, well, you're about to find out. And for those of you guys who are wondering, almost at 3 million stone mined, but more importantly, I think we're going to be hitting a million stone place here very soon, which is absolutely crazy because I have never placed a million of any item in the game, which would be an absolute crazy thing to add to our board of achievements. But it's about time to grab some resources to get all the detailing ready to go. And from the looks of it, we don't really have any spruce wood at all. So I know just the forest to take down and yep. Some of you may have guessed it, the forest out here in the Skulklands where I've been getting all of my podzel recently. I need to get rid of this whole forest over here and the forest over here. That way I can build my own custom forest right between these two builds over here. that's a really bad start when it comes to decorating the whole front side of the castle here you guys will notice that i've got a couple fancy looking trees right here one in each pocket to kind of give a little bit of greenery right here and you may also notice i have some braziers and it looks like i forgot to wax that one whoops but let me give you guys a little bit of a closer look here i put a bunch of different types of pirates right here just to kind of liven the area up a little bit i do plan on building some more ships and obviously pirate ships if you guys are interested in that series, it'll be coming out very, very soon. Where I'll be filling up the entire ocean space here. Building up volcanic islands and stuff. To have a little bit of a fleet of different types of ships. I have about 21 builds that are going to be coming out here very, very soon. But anyways, let me show you guys a little bit around here. So we have like elven pirates. We brought ourselves up some parrots as well. Working our way towards the dwarven door. And it kind of like a little bit of a story involved. We don't know why these pirates are here. We don't know what they're trading for exactly, but they're trading for something that the doors have to offer. So we have our doors right here. 
welcoming in the pirates who have a little bit of gold sword in hand this is supposed to be a wolf pirate which i think is kind of cool we have our dwarves right here with pickaxes and axe this is the later a here from lord of the rings gimli of course we have the braziers right here with a little bit of smoke coming out of the braziers kind of want to add a little bit of the flower pots because i do love the flower pots closer look of the tree right here uh the inside of this area you guys won't see that till the next episode because we're going to be building up the dwarven kingdom on the inside We've got captain hook what's up over here i've got some other ones so i've got this other pirate right here kind of like looking down the sign uh the the sight lines the sight the line of sights that's the one looking down the line of sights kind of testing on a new crossbow obviously lots of cargo and everything like that over here on the docks and then we have our bears so our pirates look a little bit out of place but that's because i don't have the ships yet i do plan on building big giant pirate ships here at the end of each pier and then including up here i also incorporated a few more braziers up here as well which i think go really really nice in front of the wolf yes i haven't done the side of the castle yet but you know what i did do the back side yeah huh i did the back side of the castle i plan to do the back side of the bridge and i plan to do the sides of course but really oh you're not supposed to look at there you're not supposed to look in there that's spoilers anyways I got a whole dwarven kingdom going on, on the inside of this castle, of course, but I am working periodically on the backside of the castle to kind of bring everything together. And then, of course, I've got all these wolves over here that I need to put armor on and get names for. So you guys know what to do. Leave it a comment in the section down below. Let me know what kind of names you guys have. And then for these guys, I'm thinking later on down the road, I'm going to have some mages on the inside of the dwarven kingdom. Helping out the doors with something massive little bit of lore involved there so i'm going to need some names for these four horses here that i did get during a thunderstorm as well but this has been an absolutely massive building project so far i can't wait to see exactly what happens next especially on the inside of the dwarven kingdom i really hope you guys enjoyed today's episode if you haven't done so please leave a like it really helps the channel out and if you want to see some more consider subscribing but until next time i'll see you guys in the next episode